Hello, hello everyone, Billing fans, everyone. So today we're gonna install Amarchi on this thing. See how it goes. Uh, so the first step is going to amarchi.org and trying to download the ISA file for it to boot the uh, computer with it and start a Linux journey on this uh, GDR9 device. Um, as well as the uh, um, ISO file we need on Windows and another software called Balena Etcher. This is used to write ISO files to flash disks. So if you have a thumb drive, uh, you need this software to write the ISO file that you download to um, this uh, flash drive that you have. So we're gonna just wait for this to finish. By the way, I'm narrating over this uh, and I'm gonna be as surprised as you <laughs> as we go through this. Okay, so we can see that we've downloaded both the uh, Lena Etcher installer and the ISO file. It's time for us to go check out Alena Etcher and load up the image file in it. So I've also sped up these a little to be uh, cognizant of your time. So um, we just go to it and select the ISO and select the target. So, Specifically, this uh, drive that I had was one terabyte, so it here um, said that it's too large. Are you sure you want to format it? Because every data that you have will be erased um, during this process. Uh, again, this process finishes rather quickly, and after that, you manually restart. And here's the important thing. We go to the BIOS, and we check out, as you can see here, CT2000. That's the um, drive that I have and that comes to be important later um, um, but we didn't boot from that we booted from the USB flash drive and here's welcome to Arch and here's the installer so this ISO is not um, a live uh, live playground that some Linuxes have it just installs your um, Amarchi on your device. So here it's uh, I here is very important in Amarchi. You want to type with your fingers more than selecting things. So I did. I, I had a mistake here. I, I just went to something I, I couldn't find myself in, and I was in this shell. Uh, so I just typed in exit or something. Yeah, but fortunately I was just rebooted back into the start where I just started typing like English. So enter typing username, my name, um, then password, one word, <laughs> very secure, confirm that, it's easy. And you type in your full name here and then your email address. My understanding is that this email address is used to configure your Git. So when you download stuff from Git, that's how uh, it knows. And host name be Marchi because we are on the link and we are on Marchi. So we uh, have everything uh, that takes. Oh, one more thing is the time zone that you are. I'm in Canada, Eastern. So I selected that. And believe it or not, that's all it takes from the config site. It get, gets a confirmation from you. And then here's the important bit. It tells you where do you want to install this. And I had two identical two terabyte storages and CT2001 is my window. So I don't want to overwrite that. I want to do on the other two terabyte. By the way, I installed this myself on the device. It didn't come pre-built with it. I will upload another video and probably link to it uh, in this video as well uh, on how that can be done and then format it. So again, anything that you have in that second drive will be will be erased. So um, it goes away. Again, I sped up this bit, but this is the quickest uh, op operating system install that you will ever encounter. Uh, um, it completes in under two minutes on most systems. Uh, and since we have a very capable 
Strix Halo uh, computer here. Uh, it takes even less, uh, like a minute, 30 seconds or something. It gives you a record at the very end. Here we go, Margie, Yay, you're done. Noise, reboot now, obviously. And one minute, 31 seconds. We go to the reboot. Um, it's important to take out the flash drive at this point and while you reboot and then when we go I we go to setup so by pressing delete we go to setup we want to change the boot order so we want to make it so that our default is um, the uh, marchi drive the second uh, and you can see that uh, I, at first attempt I tried hard disk and it was wrong so don't don't do the same mistake you want to configure and as you can see it in, in the boots menu uh, we want that arch linux uh, in, in our bootloader to be the top and for nvme you only get one option here in boot options so you need to go down and there where it says uefi nvme drive and here you change the order of your nvmes and the way we want to position it is we want to put the arch linux lima lima and limine to be first, then Windows. Okay, so we wanna save and exit this setting and we'll continue to our boot sequence. So we see the new bootloader, no longer the Windows uh, circle going in circles. <laughs> We arrive at the screen, which is your password that you entered there. There's a bug here. Uh, I pressed only that one single character, but it filled up the rest. So I re-entered that single character. Uh, maybe this is something that later will be fixed. But we enter the beautiful first screen. And you, from here on, want to get familiarized with the very cool UI that uh, DHH has cooked for us and learn the shortcuts for example this one is super in space or super and alt in space and this is the Omarchi logo and that's it for this video hope you enjoyed it catch you in the next one take care